another system recovery video. This time with the HP Pavilion A730N from 2004. So yeah. This is currently running XP Home Edition. Yes, the factory OS that was third factory. Let me just disconnect the cable that I'm plugged into that thing. So yeah. Also, the same can be said on the compact, but it's a different story. It's not filled up right there, so yeah. But I really don't care. I'm just going to create some covers. Just, I'm just going to do this recovery. So. So PC Help and Tools and HP PC System Recovery. Once again, Yes. I'm just gonna play that game, so yeah. Oops. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it short. Stupid message got in the way and decided to stop my video. Wonderful. Anyways, you know the drill. This will boot into system recovery. HP PC system recovery. This time it's different. This is different. So, advanced options, destructive system recovery. Once again, you know the drill, it'll just restore everything to its factory defaults when it was shipped brand new. Next. This time, this is different. It, it tells you, it recommends you to use the built in repair features that comes with the operating system. A system recovery may not be necessary, but for the sake of this video, it is, so, yes. And yes, you know the drill. Back up every single file, or it's gone for good. And when I'm mean gone, you don't get them back. So, yes. So, yeah. I like how, how this, like, background just resembles, like, Windows list. So, yeah. This is version 5.0.43, and this time it's from 2004. Still made by Soft Things, so. though. So yeah. Like the whole background, not the windows. Well, windows bar, presumably. Like it just looks like the beta version of Windows XP. Like, windows looks like. And look. It doesn't take that long. It just says 11 to 12 minutes right there. Well, it's now 11, but in 40 seconds, so whatever. 11 minutes, 40 seconds, whatever. So yeah. So we know the drill. It's recovering Windows XP and its application files. This time the folder icons are different. Like those and those. Like this and that, but the paper animation is still the same. It's like from when it's 2000 back, and when it's not like this. Or the earlier versions of which was starting from 95, I mean 98. So yeah. The compact just like took like 25 minutes and 36 seconds just to get this process done. But right here on this screen. This time it's going way shorter than I expected. Oh, now we're at 10 minutes now. Well, it's been past 10 minutes now. Ow. It's been nine minutes now, and it's been past nine minutes now, and it's 50 percent. Like maybe nine minutes from number ten is past. I meant remaining, not elapsed. It's been four minutes elapsed, but uh, somehow we're getting there. We're managing. We're managing to get there. 54 percent now. Wow. And once again, the hard drive LEDs. It's going crazy. Somebody's
well, for the compact it was solid, now this one's just going crazy like it's blinking. Oh, and also I'll give you the spec sting right there. I was going to read it. And I'll give you it right there. Pause if you want to read it. Alright. Alright. Well, this is restoring. I'll just give you a little backstory on this computer. I got this computer back in August of 2018. Yes, the same month, but one year after I got the compact. The compact I got back in 26. This one I got back in 2018. So yeah. I got this at, the, at one of these uh, 127 yard steps. Alongside a broken gateway computer, which also has an extra media sensation, like that didn't turn out at all, so had a scrap in it as of this year. So, yeah, this is the only one that works. I think I got these both for like $10, they were $5 each. So, yeah. It, look how fast it's going. Like, I'm not kidding. By the time I was talking, it's now it's 72 percent. Now it's 73 percent. Oh my goodness! So yeah, so we have a DVD writer and CD writer combo, but this time we have a, a separate CD ROM. And yes, we have our same usual media readers, two USB ports, but this time we have a FireWire port. Auto focus. Out of focus. Okay, there we go. There, that's an actual FireWire port. I'm not kidding. Like, you thought that was for Apple computers only. No, it ain't. HP just literally added a FireWire port. Like, I don't know what speed, but if it's there, it's there. Huh? Now, let me just tell you about the hard drive. It's, it's a 200 gigabyte hard drive. That's right, for 2004 standards, this computer had to have a 200 gig hard drive. Like the compact had a, the compact I had had a 120 gig hard drive. This just took it up a notch. But 200 on it, not 230, not 250, but 200. Okay, now it's recovering system files. And now it's gonna, after this, it's gonna recover all set of files we need for the out of box experience and whatnot. So, hopefully, it can be, hopefully, it can be done. Because I don't know. We're 5 minutes and 10 seconds on the clock now. And it's been 7 minutes and 40 seconds elapsed. Let me just zoom zoom into this box so you can see it better. All right, it's now recovering setup files, and and what I mean, it's, it's almost done. Man, I wish this recovery back then then was very really fast like this. It's like. 12 minutes just to like recover this. Like, oh boy. Or whatever. Or like below 24 minutes or 25 minutes. So yeah. It's almost done actually. 94%. And it's less than one minute now. So, you know what's gonna happen. And. We're done. How much did it take? Nine minutes and six seconds. That was fast. Now it says recovery is finished. I just love this. Like, look, there's a space right there. And the exclamation mark. Like, that's improper use of ex ex of exclamatory right there. Like it should be right there. All right. Now we're gonna restart to the user partition now, and hopefully we get to see our favorite 
XP boot screen and whatever. Yes, this thing is rocking an Intel Pentium 4 hyper threading processor. That's why I was able to get Service Pack 3 on there. It came with Service Pack 2 too when, when this was shipped. But it runs but it can run Service Pack 3. Unlike the compact. If you had the pack, you had to get the patch from the left side. From there from HP's left site because HP was a HP like it was a part of Compact until I think they separated uh, I don't know. But yeah. So yeah, starting Windows XP for the first time on this computer. Well not really after factory reset. Well, I'll, I'll. All right. No mouse movie yet, but we're gonna have to select a country if possible. And I can't lose the mouse. Please wait as usual. Well, this is weird. Are we getting anything? Where's the country selector? Like, we had it on the compact, why not here? Oh, because it's this is, this is an older PC, okay. Gotta love the blue glow and power light these HPs have. Oh. Oh, now the screen's flickering. Is it our graphics driver? As usual, the keyboard works. Not the mouse. I don't know why. But if it happens, it happens. If you're like, sorry about the mouse, it's, it's made like this. Like, don't watch it if you're prone to epilepsy. Yeah, I, I think I should, like I would switch mice, but it's the only one I have that okay. yeah. actually works. Sorry, God. Sorry. Sorry to the people who have epilepsy. Might as well pause again. All right. Sorry, guys. I had to like restart the computer because it wasn't loading at all. It was stuck. I bet it's gonna be stuck again. But yeah. Yep. Here we go again. Darn it. Hey, the hard drive light is shining. Oh, finally, now we're getting some mouse movements. That's a good sign. And there we go, fellas. So we're starting it did actually work. Okay. Thank you for purchasing this computer from the Hewlett Hacker Company featuring Windows XP. And there's the very tiny HP logo sitting right there. No one cares help lo help logo senpai. Yes, the south system is working. Well, yes. So yeah. Easter time. Accept and accept. Yes. What's the computer's name? Oh, I have a good idea. That's absolutely perfect. I'm just kidding. We're just gonna set it as HP PC. Cause that's more appropriate. And more family friendly. Again, internet connection, but I'm in the garage. No. Thank you for purchasing a 
HP Pavilion PC or and HP Pavilion PC. I don't know why it's and when it's supposed to be a, uh, but we're back at the please late screen as always. And now, 10 minutes this time, it will install everything. Like, it will install your software and whatnot. I love this screen. Look this. Cool waves and, and the classic icons. Yes, so we have software package, the help logo. Oh no, it's the same guy from the setup. The Windows Update logo or Windows logo with a globe. A, a board that has a check mark, just kidding, that's a control panel. A brush on off what a disc or something? Uh it's disc cleanup. One half of Pi? Uh, no, I, I don't know what that is. And, and Lego. Ah, that's this right. I don't know what this is. But yeah. So, this takes about 10 minutes, and now we're on 8 minutes and 50, 50 seconds. It counts down very fast, so yeah. It may be inaccurate. I'm gonna pause the video so you don't get bored. And I love how the progress bar just disappears into darkness. And he was never seen again. And now he's back. Uh, what's going on? Oh, never mind, it's fixed. Is it restarting already? I just guessed it. Back to the good old boot screen. You're obviously not going to hear the startup sound because it's an HP computer. So somehow the maximum size for 9.5 is corny. He just reached the 4 gig limit, so it had to be on another file. Solid blue background this time. Was that it? Oh boy. More start menu clone. Now it wants us to set up the internet. What harm could that do? A register of HP shortcut suddenly appears. Welcome. Let us help you in setting up the internet. You can explore services from well known. Yes. HP organized. Sorry, I could care less. Well, that was pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, and support me on my Patreon page. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.